Um, hey guys, um, Alfie Green here. Um, I'm a tennis player uh, in the Manchester area and I'm just going to give you a quick bag check. This is probably my first video of my uh, channel, so yeah, so I hope it hopefully it goes well. Um, so yeah, so this is the racket compartment. Um, I don't have many rackets in here because they're getting really strong. I have two two new rackets. These aren't the rackets, but I have two new rackets which are getting really strong. The Wilson Blade 101L. Um, I like a good racket so I can get a good racket at speed. Um, these are my two older rackets. Um, I've got this, my first ever racket, which is a little cheapy from Sports Direct. Um, I've uh, gripped it with a Wilson Pro Over Grip. Not Pro Over Grip, I got it in this Jumbo, like this Jumbo um, Bowler Grips, which is just different colours and all that. Um, but yeah, this is my first ever racket. Um, just, yeah, again, a cheapy from Sports Direct. As you can see, the, uh, you can see like the strings, they just, they just, just don't work basically I can I can touch them together they're just so loose and it just acts like a trampoline it's just a terrible racket but it's just a spare racket just in case anything happens um, my second racket is the one I've recently not got rid of but stopped playing with because I've got the two new Wilson rackets um, it's the Wilson uh, not the Wilson the head TIS 6 which is like the best selling head uh, excuse me. Um, beginner intermediate tennis racket. Um, I help like this really helped me in getting like because I, I don't I don't have any coaches coaching me. I've all I've just done it. I've just practiced naturally and I've just improved naturally, which I guess is really good because I've got my own technique and all that. But yeah, this really helped me to get through my matches and stuff. But fortunately, I got two new rackets to uh, to um. Which I've which I've got for the future. So I've also put a bit of lead tape, and I put this on like lead tape there, there, there. And I put I had some uh, eleven and one o'clock as well uh, on both sides, but as I've been hitting, the lead tape is just flung off, which is pretty bad. Um, so the balance on that racket, balance on that racket is just terrible. Um, in this little compartment, I don't know much, it's just for when I do get me, I would normally keep my strings in here, which I don't have anymore because I'm have i getting them really strung. But I've got stencil and the stencil ink, um, which is key. Um, I think it just added, adds a little touch to your racket, so when you're getting really strung, obviously it won't come like with it. Um, but yeah, so when I get my rackets back, I'll just put the uh, ink all over it and uh, it'll look dead nice afterwards. Um, in this little pocket here, all I have is just, um, just a load of Wilson grips. I've got some spare saver tape. Um, but yeah, I found that the the white ones in the jumbo pack are the most effective and they're just a lot more durable than the coloured ones. I don't know why. But uh, yeah, so in this middle compartment, I don't know if you can see this middle compartment here. Um, I have um, okay, so I have my spare tennis shoes, which are atrocious. Um, these are I normally play on like Astro Court, yeah. So Astro Court, and these are hardcore. Um, so literally, I slip in these all the time. So I don't ever use these. I just normally use me me running trainers, which are worn out because they're just so soft, the rubber. So I'm gonna have to get some new ones, but um. Yeah, so these are my spare shoes, which are a bad idea. Um, so yeah, uh, my towel. Um, so when I get hot and sweaty, I just use this to wipe the sweat off. Don't know what I can say anything else about that. But again, I also have a sweat band, sweat headband. Um, in case it's the summer, it's not that sunny, so the sun's not in your eyes, but it's still um, very hot and you sweat. You just use that. Um, keep the sun, if it is dead sunny, um, just put the sun out with a night cap. Um, and well, after a match, um, got a bit of deodorant, so if we're having a drink or a meal afterwards, um, I'll just spray a bit of this under my arms or on my body, and, um, <clears throat> and
and yeah, and that, yeah, just get rid of that sweaty smell, BO smell. Um, got a pair of gloves because it's currently winter here in the UK. And I've just got some spare clothes, which I don't think that is that important. So yeah, so that's my clothes bag area. Um, so yeah. Right, now let's switch over to this bit, this this bit here. Um, this, I would say, is my medical slash recovery. Medical slash recovery. Yeah, so my little bag. So got first aid, my first aid kit. Um, kit that would, just whatever has my one normal first aid kit would have. Ibuprofen, paracetamol, I've got a mosquito strap which you put around your ankle or your or your wrist and it just keeps the mosquitoes away. Got a bandage, got plasters, got a massive bandage here. A sterile, sterile dressing. But yeah, everything you'll need need in a uh, med, 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 med kit. Um, so yeah, put that back. Um, some sun cream because I'm pale as, um, and it gets during the sun it gets dead hot, so I just spray a bit, spray a bit of that on, and it will do the job for the whole game. Um, don't know if you would have it, but I've currently um, got over a cold, and as you do, you you would get a blocked nose when you've got a cold, and this stuff would just open your nose up. It's uh very good and it would just help because I wouldn't breathe properly and it would just, just mess up how I breathe and I would get tired dead quick because I'm not breathing the right way so that would just help a lot. Um, I got this massage roller uh, acupressure point thing, this ball. Um, I feel like this is just a lot better than a roller because it's got these um, acupressure points um, and it would just once it touches the skin the, uh, the body would just send blood to it and it will just help um, repair the muscle a lot quicker than a foam roller. Um, I got this decrease cold patch which I would use which I would use after a match um, after say if I pulled a muscle or my muscles were aching after a match it would just help me uh, get over that pain. Um, again same same as the patch I've just got a aerosol version uh, so during a match say if I've Pull the muscle, or again, just my muscles are aching, and it's stopping me from playing at the optimum. I'll just spray a bit of this on, and it will just relieve that pain. Um, same with the deep heat. I think they they both are the same. It's just another one there. Um, so yeah. Um, and I've just got a gel version in case. Yeah, so in case um, uh, I'm, I have a massage or something, I can just tell them to use a bit of that, and it's. Very um very effective in repairing the muscles. Um, mosquito repellent spray, a bit like the uh, the wristband or the ankle bracelet thing. It just gets rid of the mosquitoes from biting you and stuff. I got this Hydra Mist, which I use during the summer, um, not during the winter. Um, but it, yeah, it just cools you straight down like instantly. Um, and it's it's just so refreshing when it goes onto your face or you put it on a certain time part of the body. Um, I got. I don't know if you would have this, but Johnson's baby powder. Um, I would have this when it's raining, and I just put a bit on my hand, and it just soaks up all the water from my grip, and it gets it back to normal, like it, like it was on a uh, dry day out. Got me a little lucky charm. Um, so yeah, I don't know what I could say. It just brings me a good luck, I guess. Got um, uh, pulse razor. Um, just a, a skipping rope or a jump rope, as the Americans say. Um, so yeah, it just gets your heart going. Um, and yeah, I don't know what I can say about that. Um, got two fresh cans of balls, haven't used, I don't think. Nope, fresh canned, and not opened yet. Um, so yeah, just when I'm training or I'm in a match, I'll just use these, um, the US Open Wilson ones, very nice. Um, so yeah, um, these are the balls I'm currently using, probably will use the Wilson new balls, but 
these have just been worn, like, they're just worn. But, like, just, they're just terrible. Like, they just don't balance on the court at all. Uh, what else? What else? I've got some spare laces. Um, I don't break laces that often, but um, when I do, they come in handy because you can replace your laces. And finally, I've got this resistance band, which I can just warm up the, the muscles like that. And just it gets the shoulders working and gets the sh shoulders fired up. Um, so I don't, again, injure myself, so I don't have to use all this medical equipment. Um, so yeah, that's it for that. Uh, let's see what I can start with. Start putting all this away. There we go. There we go, there we go, there we go. So, yeah, so I've come, I've just won a, uh, my Floodlight, my uh, local club, Floodlight uh, Winter Season League. Um, came first. It was very tight. Um, but yeah, I won. And I didn't get a trophy or anything. I just got a, a massive bag or box of Harry Bows, to be honest. Um, so, yeah. But I'm hoping... I want to become a lot more competitive. This is why I got this massive bag. Because um, it just means I can carry a lot more stuff that a competitive player would use. So, yeah. So, in this little um, pocket here, I've just got um, some uh, some athletic tape, some electrical tape, uh, white, white and black, just in case. So, you know how you get them. You get that finishing tape to finish off your grip so it do not uh, come off. Um, if the finishing tape comes off, then I'll just use some of this and that. That's basically all it is. I've um, got some um, bandage tape in case, because I've come, I've had a couple of blisters lately. Um, so, yeah, it would just really help um, cushion and just stop the blister getting worse. Um, so, yeah, I'll just stay in that little pocket. And this final pocket here. Uh, what do I have? What do I have? What do I have? Um, I have this, the, how do I, this, well that ball I showed you is called a sensory ball, but all this is is just like, it just tells you where you can put it or where you can use it, where the most effective pressure points are, um, but yeah, so like, I don't know if you can see that, but you can just use it, it tells you upper body, your back, and you've got your lower body at the front there. So, yeah, um, uh, what else is there? There's, I've got a wallet, I don't know what, my wallet has a bit of cash in it, there's a bit of cash, just in case there's a, a vending machine or a canteen there, I can just spend a bit, a bit of the money just to, to have a meal before the match or after the match, um, just to get the... Uh, Blue's Ghost going and, yeah, to, to raise your energy levels. Um, so I think that's it, guys. I um, hope you enjoyed my first video. Hopefully, I didn't stutter that much um, or lose my words. But um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. And I'll see you in my next tennis video. I'll probably doing, do a review of. Not. I'll probably do a review of of my TIS 6 and I'll after that I'll probably do a review of my new Wilson my new Wilson rackets so yeah so I hopefully you enjoyed the video leave a like uh, comment on some ideas you want me to do like tennis stereotypes or some reviews on my shoes or anything um, but yeah hopefully you enjoyed the video and peace see you later guys